Yo, gentlemen, what's going on? So we got another mod in the mail today. I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm a little, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm kind of, I was 50-50 on this mod. I wasn't sure. I just pulled the trigger. I'm like, you know what? I have to change them anyways. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully people don't hate on me. Yeah, you'll see in a second. Guys, to be honest though, if this ends up looking good, like to my eye, if it looks aesthetically pleasing, I really don't care what people are gonna think because I know it's kind of controversial to put this kind of part on my car. But like I said, if it looks good, why does it matter? All right guys, so here's the car. And the thing that I bought today is I bought new mirror caps. All right, I bought new mirror caps because there's a lot of scuffs. There's some paint missing right there, okay. And then on the other side. So as you could tell, my microphone was about to lose battery and then it finally died. So these mirror caps are from BWE Custom. I was trying to find like a USA seller of these mirror caps just cause I hate waiting for stuff to come from China. They came nicely packaged. They didn't have any defects. Um, the paint was probably a nine out of 10. There was a couple spots where it looked like maybe some dust uh, had been trapped in the paint. Very, very small. I mean, you'll never ever notice it. All right guys, well, that was about an hour job. Probably not worse than the pedal install, but it was still kind of a pain in the butt. Cause you know, you always worry. You don't want to break clips and then you're screwed basically. So I'm going to flip the mirrors so you guys can see them right now. I feel like I like the look. Yeah, I like it. I definitely like it. I think they look better than stock. Um, I can see why though people do the pre-LCI uh, conversion. I feel like in the pre-LCI version, this sort of winglet is going in and I think it's connected actually on the 1M. I gotta double check that, but I'll put up a picture so, to show you guys. You know, the design of the pre-LCIs is different as well. It's not as big. Imagine this circle, kind of like an oval, and then it maybe it's like angled slightly differently, and it just, it comes into the, the part right there, which, I mean, trying to get a sponge in that area might be a little tight, but overall, I really like it. I think it's pretty aggressive. I just didn't feel like spending the money to, uh, to do the pre-LCI. It's just too much for some mirrors, you know? Um, I'm gonna rock it. I like it. Yeah, so there it is, guys. That is the uh, mirror install. I'm trying to get some different angles for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Um, I think it would have looked terrible if they were carbon fiber because then you would have been like, oh yeah, those are aftermarket. I think they look pretty good because they're gloss black and obviously the car is black, so they match. Kind of like the trunk spoiler, you know, it gives it such a OEM look. Um, you know, if we go back really quick to the trunk, you know, this is, it's looking like really OEM plus, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how I feel about these is the fact that their color match, it looks good. We'll see how long the paint lasts on it. But yeah, I just need a front lip now and uh, we're, we're solid. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it, man. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely better than stock, kind of adds to that sporty look. But I feel like once I get the lip, then it's just gonna look like a complete package. You know, I think before I end this video, I'm gonna go for a drive. I'll let you guys know if it makes noise. And then we need to pull up to a little bit more of a scenic location and get some, uh, get some clips. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is an X4 M40i, not an X4M. And that thing has mirrors that look like mine. So the point of this part of the video is I just wanted to show and prove that the mirror caps don't make any added extra noise. Okay, I'm doing about 60 miles per hour and there's nothing out of the ordinary aside from the usual wind that's here by the coast. And maybe a little rattling in the back because of my exhaust, <laughs> but yeah, they don't make any sort of like whistling or high pitch noises, so uh, pass the test.
Well guys, here it is once again in a nice little scenery here. I'm telling you man, these look good. Haters gonna hate, but I'm telling you, they look really good. So one of the points I wanted to make about these mirrors, because I know I keep talking about this, but I just wanna I just wanna say this because I feel like it makes sense, but trying to make your car 1M to me is when you start throwing front bumper, rear bumper, front fenders, and all that. Um, but just adding, let's say, these mirror caps, which is like the only other style. Let's say you wanted to change the style of your mirror caps. This would be the only other style. Otherwise, it's just OEM. And it's kind of like modifying your front bumper, right? You can go the 1M route, but you can also throw a lip on it. Um, same thing with the rear. If you guys are hesitant in any way to do this mod, don't be. I would recommend doing it, but I wouldn't do it on a stock car. You should have some wheels. You should have, you know be lowered have something that makes your car a little bit more unique because i feel like these will look stupid on a stock car um and the same thing goes for aero like that's why i waited till the end like till i got wheels and suspension to um to now start to buy some aero stuff and aesthetic you know exterior mods so yeah that's just my take on it but don't forget to like and subscribe maybe i'll see you guys this weekend at hre open house or bmw takes flight at the john wayne airport i'm not quite sure which one i'm gonna go to hope you guys have a good one and i will see you in the next video